long down exercise for Shutsu Nai GP. Uh, up till this point, I haven't trained my dog to do this at all, but he knows the command down, which is what's in my case, and stay. And uh, because we've practiced this for the in motion sequence, in, mo in motion exercise, so more or less we already started it, right? But it's uh, for a much shorter period of time. The principle of uh, long down exercise is pretty much the same. You uh, heal with the dog, you leave the dog in place when the dog is uh, down and you walk away um, and uh, you kind of, so you begin with walking away not too far, uh, for not too long and things like this. And then you increase how far you go, how for how long you go and, and uh, so on. But the premise of how I train is pretty much the same as I do long uh, as I do in motion exercises. I reward the dog very randomly. So the dog is very attentive to me because the reward might be coming any second and I don't want him to be distracted. And uh, so when I walk away, I can reward when I, I, while I'm walking away. When I'm standing in front of the dog I, and I'm waiting, I can reward any second. Or I can wait all the way up till I come to the dog and then I reward. And again, I do not reward the dog when I'm walking towards him because I don't want him to break the command. So that's kind of um, the purpose. I, I'm going to show you how I do this and uh, you'll see how we progress. Uh, but more or less, uh, the beginning of the exercise, he already knows. So here's how it works. Come on. That's the longest he's been uh, on a down command um, because we've done the in motion exercise and it also requires a pause, but the pause is about three seconds. Now we did maybe half a minute. So that's the beginning. And from now on, I'll start increasing because I think the time is the hardest, harder than the distance for the dogs because they get bored, right? Eight. So I will be working on my time uh, but I will still be closer to the dog, not too far, because I don't want him to learn a habit of being distracted. So the distance is not as important, I think, uh, than the time. So if the dog can stay in the command, being still focused on you for a longer period of time, then you can walk away further and the dog will still keep this uh, attention. So that's pretty much how we do this. Uh, and I'll probably show you later in the next exercise the progress of it. Happy training!